uh, you're going to heat the kydex with a heat gun. The older versions have padding along the sides that you need to remove to protect them from the heat source. Uh, the newer versions of any of our boots have this redesigned to be sewn into the padding. But peel back the peel and stick hook so you have a smooth surface. Prepare it to be remolded. Just stick it anywhere out of the way. Then put on your gloves to protect your hands. Uh, make sure that you keep the heat source completely away from the patient or anything that is flammable. Set the boot down and determine about a half inch from the heel toward the toe, about where the uh, hole is. And that is where you're going to heat, just back and forth across the width of the boot. You want to heat an area. Don't hold it too close. It will scorch. The plastic is made up of polymer chains that need to be heated and stretched to change the shape. If you try to just bend these over a table or a sharp object, you will eventually make the plastic fail because it will fracture uh, polymer chains. Now hold the boot straight up and down and just bend it nicely. You can do it over a side rail, a tabletop. You don't want a sharp corner there. A point, a nice curve. Kind of push up on the toes if you want to help make that angle. But make it match the deformity of the patient's foot. Um, you'll see it's flexible. Um, do not change the shape of the heel itself. This is a suspending heel. If you have inversion or eversion, you're going to remold it to meet that curvature also. Otherwise your foot will slip inside the boot padding. Uh, it sets you up for shearing and it's not a true restorative action. So heat it again and then turn it. You're going to make the boot fit the bottom of the patient's sole. Never try to make the patient fit the device. That may be true in orthopedics, but our patients are restorative, totally different needs, and totally different devices are appropriate. Now if you have extensor tone and the patient's foot is going down hard, the toes are firing down, then we want to protect those. And it's much more effective and safer uh, to mold the boot down to where the toes just have slight resistance. Again, you're going to choose the appropriate area. You can mark it with a pen if you need to and mold that down. You want it to start molding down just where the your patient's toes join to their foot. Now if you have an arch deformity, again heat that. You're going to make it meet the bottom of the patient's sole with just 5, 10, maybe 15 degrees. Just a little like where you could put your finger under the patient's foot. And this allows the tarsal bones to start loosening up, uh, working through that tone to help them relax. The flex straps will do a very good job of bringing the patient's foot up and allowing them to push through with tone. But it's vital that you make the bottom of the boot fit the bottom of the patient's foot. If it's an older version, again, replace your peel and stick hook. Just stick it right down and the padding will be replaced right over the top of that. If it's a newer version you won't need to do this. You would repeat with the other side. Now your boot is ready to put back in the padding.